What's going on, real ones? We're bringing you a brand new video today. Today, we are going to the Mexican supermarket. We're scouring the aisles. We're gonna pick out the craziest, most unique things, and we're gonna try them out and see how we like them. Let's get it. guys so we just got back from the Mexican supermarket we got a bunch of things um, all of things we either haven't tried before or things that we just thought were really unique and we wanted to show off to you guys to see our reaction to um, we're gonna dive right in though and we're gonna start with uh, the pit oh my gosh the pickle pork skins yeah, yeah. Oh, geez. you have to swallow it yeah you have to finish it. you can't spit it out you gotta just go for it we have you're, a you're similar chew, you're chew it. Yeah, I'm not gonna like. I'm All gonna right. chew it. I'm gonna taste it. Oh! Uh, bro. bro. <coughs> Pickled pork skids. Mmm. <coughs> Can we cry something that looks decent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You choose. Choose the next. The next. Okay. Player. Uh, something that looks decent. Okay. So we saw these chips. They're called Tortrix. They look kind of like Fritos. Oh, yeah. These are probably gonna be good. Huh? Oh yeah. They taste just like Fritos. They have a nice spice to it. Like a, not spicy, but like, like a spice taste. I don't taste that. I mean. feel the pork skin still right here. Man. That's gnarly. Oh, they may not know your ethnicity. Oh yeah. For those of you who don't know me personally, I am full Hispanic, 100% Mexican. Um, and so this is the food of my people. <laughs> I haven't tried all of it, but I've tried some of this here and there. My turn to choose? Yeah, pick something. Hmm, pastor tacos. Okay, so tell them what pastor is. All right, pastor is pork. It is normally served. You have no idea, huh? It's pork. Man, I'm trying to see how I can describe it though. Like, isn't it just like it's on it's a marinated pork on a spit? Yeah, on a spit, you shave it off. That's a traditional. Slow cooked. Mm. Slow cooked, yeah. Got a ton of flavor. Usually eaten with uh, either onions, like grilled onions or pineapple. Yep. And dang, that salsa is really hot. I had a little bite for it. Is it really hot? That's pretty spicy. I don't do well with spice. My whole bite is salsa. Bro, look at me. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna take off this whole, I'm gonna eat this whole part. Man. Mm. Oh my god, bro, that's super hot. Mm. It's good though. It's very good, but mistakes were made for me. That's why the lady looked like looked at us like we're crazy. I didn't see her do that. Al Pastor, good. Recommend mango. <laughs> <laughs> it is a spicy mango candy roll. Perfect. Oh, inside there's like a a pulp. I'm excited. Go for it. I just like Mexican candy. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what you're doing. That's really sugary. Definitely. That's bomb. What? This is Mexican candy. That's bomb. What the you guys? Holy! I was like genuine reaction too. I was thinking about it, man. Like, that's the. I don't know if it's the inside or what, but the inside's really good. Mango chili. Bomb. Also good. Nice. We wanted to do this just to showcase some cool things that are in the local markets. Um, we're gonna keep doing an ongoing series like this, doing different cultural markets, maybe mm -hmm. like Japanese, Vietnamese. Korean, Indian, like whatever we can find. If you guys have recommendations, let us know. Arroz con leche right here. Okay, so it's kind of like, mm. it's not too sweet. I think that's mm -hmm. what I like the most about it because sometimes the pudding, they're really sweet and it's just gross. Very like thick consistency. Mm -hmm. It's a delightful bite. Yeah, sometimes they put walnuts on them too. Oh. I personally don't like them with walnuts, but that's perfect, yeah. It was very good. Give it like an eight out of 10. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I've, it's the only rice pudding from Mexico <laughs> I've ever had, so. I think it's the best one I've ever had. There we go. A little Mexican sweet bread that's shaped like a pig? Yeah. Puerco de piloncillo. That's what it is. How do you describe it? This makes me kind of upset. <laughs> just tastes like wheat bread. It's not very flavorful. It's kind of just a mouthful. This isn't one of the best ones, better ones I've had. <laughs> do not recommend, in my opinion. On to the next item, baby. Bread. Corn bread right here. Sugar coated vanilla flavored corn snack. Sounds catch. Oh my god. That's cool. This tastes like it'd be cereal. I was gonna say that. Yeah, it tastes like cereal. Oh, they're kind of weird. When you start chewing them, they just kind of dissolve. I could see myself pouring these in a bowl of milk. Oh, I could see you doing that too. Yeah. My turn? No, you just picked that. Calm down. Uh, I 
I realized we got a lot of sweet things. Yeah. <laughs> Cactus! The, the mama. Mama! You're just gonna go. Dude, over. look. Can you guys see that? It's like, it does not like that we cut it. Cheers. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Why do we do this stuff? It's so slimy and bitter. It wasn't as bad as I remembered, but it's... Why am I... It's... <coughs> Why am I struggling so much? We took like similar bites. You just gotta fight through it, man. Oh, see the slime like... I don't like this stuff. Lengua tacos right here, baby. Lengua is cow tongue. Take that for what it is. That's the cow tongue. A little chunk right there, very smooth on one side. You can see off here, there's taste buds. So I'm gonna be tasting the cow's taste buds. <laughs> if you ever seen a picture of a cow tongue or a video of a cow licking things, that gets That's just, literally it's how massive. it comes. Yeah, you boil it for the heck out of it, and you peel the layer over the tongue off, and then that's where. Is that gonna... this layer that didn't come off? <laughs> Maybe we'll find out. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Should have had it in a taco, bro. It's really chewy. Whoa. The big boy. So I just ate a piece this size, and I wants me to eat this one. It's not bad. You act like it's freaking torture. But this is huge. Ew. I think yeah. I finish it. I think weird is like subjective. You know, like. Uh huh. So I don't know if you can see, but there's like gooey gel in here, and then inside there are little salted plums. How do we eat that? I don't know. I grew up eating something like this. It's that sweet, that spicy, oh, savory, sweet. Very overpowering. Super salty. So much um, chili and strawberry flavor kind of just overwhelms it. But I grew up eating something like this called Li Ling Mui. Shout out to Japan. It's dry. There's no liquid, and they coat it in like a sugar and chili flavor. That's pretty. Yeah. It's like a. This one's like a <laughs> grosser version of what I grew up with. Apple soda. Apple soda? Apple soda, it's not a common thing. What do you think? I don't get a lot of apple flavor. It's not bad, I just, mm, doesn't really taste like apple to me. Jamaica! Jamaica! That's good, thank you please. Why well, these all taste the same? Yeah. Grapefruit flavor. Mm. This is gonna be like, what, what American soda? Sprite. No. Squirt. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that that's grapefruit flavored soda. Squirt? Yeah. This one's good. I like this one. Oh, yeah. Want more? No. That's wow, that one's good. That's really good. We both burped after that one, yeah. too. It's very carbonated. Dude, that one's really good. I think that one's better than squirt. I haven't had it in forever, so I don't wow. remember, but... I'm, I'm with it. It's pretty good. Tamarind! Oh, I figured you should like it Here more. we go. Did you just swirl it like wine? Yeah. You gotta aerate it. Sophisticated yes. soda drinker. <laughs> you have to aerate it. Nope. Uh-uh. I like tamarind stuff, but I don't really like that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a few more things. On this episode of Pan Talks, who's Christian? It's a polvorone. This is straight up just sugar on sugar on sugar. This is made of what a concha has on top of it. So this is a concha right here. This is a concha. It's got a sweet sugary crust on the top and just regular bread on the bottom. Um, this frosted stuff, this pink stuff, is literally what this whole cookie consists of right here. Mmm. With milk. Uh, very, very sugary. It's good though, right? The consistency is very, um... Like powder. Kind of crumbly. Yeah, it's like powder. Or like, yeah, crumbly, yeah. It's kind of like a, uh, like a shortbread cookie almost? A little bit, yeah. But way bigger. Gansito! I don't know what he is. Is he a duck? <laughs> <laughs> He's a bird. Always trying to make us fat. It's basically like the hostess of Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Look how pumped he is. He is stoked to be giving us these little pastries filled with... They just come like this in individual packages. Um, there's actually a hack for these. You no. freeze these. 
Oh. And they're supposed to be bomb. I'm glad we did that today. Yeah. We did it. Grass fed. Grass fed. Farm raised. Non GMO. Farm raised. Yep, we don't like the jelly. <laughs> Way better without the jelly. Yeah, exactly. I wish there was a strawberry jelly inside. That would be bomb. Around holiday time, they have these chocolate fruits. They're not chocolate covered fruits. They're like little oranges that come in foil. And it's basically a ball. Dude, yes. And then you and smack it on the table and it's sliced. Oh, wait, no, it's, never. it's, you never had this? Mm. Okay, so you smack the chocolate ball on the table and it unfolds into a bunch of little orange slices. But basically it's just milk chocolate or dark chocolate. Covered in like orange jelly? No, 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 it's not covered. I mean, uh, Orange jelly covered in dark chocolate? No, it's not, it's not It's not. an actual fruit. It's a solid piece of chocolate, but it's infused with orange flavor. Uh, it's, it's a terrible combination, but I... I no, because I've had like these chocolate bars covered in like a chocolate, and it's like an orange jelly inside, and it's a bomb. Sounds like my nightmare. No. Grandparents used to give me those. On Talks with Christian, part two. Ding! Mmm! It looks like a seashell. I like this one milk more. Oh, okay, but the, but the ratios are a little better. I need dry milk. Yeah, I need water. <laughs> what would you rate that out of ten? Oh, uh, out of ten, like ten being like my favorite dessert ever. No. Oh, well, what's ten then? What would you rate it like enjoyable? Like how do you enjoy it? Like a five. Okay. Pan dulce number three. You need milk though. Bro, these are too sweet for me. Is this the last thing? Yeah. I'm stoked, I love these. Okay. Bandarillas. It's like a little straw with uh, tamarind and chili and all kinds of stuff wrapped around it. Look how much sugar is at the bottom of that. This is Mexican fun dip. Yeah. Dude, do you, do you have fun dip growing up? Mm -mm. I'm not yeah. a... <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't like candy that much. Oh. Yeah. So you got your little fun dip dipping powder at the bottom. So do you... Like bite the stick. Yeah, well, you don't want to bite through the stick. It's plastic, so it's kind of like just like wrapped around it. You kind of like gnaw it off of it. Mmm. This is the jam for you. I love it. There's this um. Man, so spicy in there. Ah. There's a Mexican juice bar and like taco stand by my house, or my old house, and they used to make this drink that was like a. It was basically a mango smoothie with chamoy. Which is, how do you describe chamoy? It's like a sugar chili salt. Of yeah. Course, sugar, chili, and salt yeah, mixed it's like into a, like a paste. Yeah, it's like, like a paste, a, yeah. Like a, a goo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they put that in the in the mango smoothie, and then they would always stick one of these in the smoothie, and that was my favorite part. They made, The straw was basically wrapped in That's crazy, chili that's stuff. wild. You're wild, man. And I, I would go there just for that. <laughs> Last mango. item. Boom. Mango, chalada, popsicle. Mango. Looks good. Chili, chamoy, I'm in. Dude, you sure you don't want some? Mm, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Mmm. No, it's good. Is it? Oh, there's little chunks of mango Refreshing? in Refreshing? Mm -hmm. No, that's what the paleta, paleta is like. I'm probably pissing a lot of people off biting this. Yeah. Biting popsicles, yeah, good or bad. You're weird. Those are good though. Like the strawberry ones have like strawberry chunks in them. Super good. I'm for sure sugar high right now. Yeah? I'm looking at everything we ate, like I feel very jittery. Yeah, it's a lot. My teeth are ringing. What was your favorite thing out of the whole thing? How about that? Okay, yeah, Choose. let's try to close it out differently. Yeah, favorite item. What would you say? Or top two, top two. Or no, just do top three. Top three, go. Al Pastor tacos. Got gotcha. you. The grapefruit soda. Nice. And... Is it in your hand? No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this popsicle. <laughs> what about you? Top three. Lengua taco or lengua taco. Uh huh. Grapefruit soda. Okay. And the barbacoa chips. What? Yeah. They were good. I can just picture myself eating those. A Here, taco. You close out the video eating these. No, no problem, man. All right, guys. Mexican supermarket was very good to us. Lots of cool things. We're going to keep doing these with other cultural supermarkets. So if you have a suggestion for us, let us know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Consider hitting that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. We want you to be along for the ride with all of our upcoming videos. I'm gonna go pass out. I have had too much sugar. I was gonna finish this, but no way. <laughs> Thank you guys for being real ones. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.